listeners to the Indie Pod Daily Show. I'm your host, Super Joe Pardo, and I, man, my hair is looking like I need a haircut. They, you know, salons and barbershops are actually open now in Jersey, but uh, I've been cut it, getting cutting my own hair. My wife's been cutting my hair. Uh, it's I think it's time I I, I do that. Uh, it's that's one of the the issues I guess with um, doing something daily is like you're trying to. You need to, you know, make sure it looks good and all. And, and today, you know, I maybe maybe I just need to go back to putting these headphones on because they kind of hides it a little bit. That like, it's not. I also need to shave. That's that's for sure. So anyway, this uh, in this episode of Training Tuesday, Training Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. It's Thursday. Training Thursday. I'm going to help our guest Luke Miller uh, with his show Tile Money. Uh, get like look at what they're what he's doing his podcasting efforts see what we you know what we can improve upon what we can automate what we can make move the needle faster for him uh, this episode is brought to you by indie pod university uh, it, it you it gives you access to over 100 hours of podcasting resources including this video you're watching right now uh, you have you get access to like as pot, you know, podcasting SEO stuff, uh, website building stuff, tech, you know, the, the microphone stuff, all like videos on pretty much everything. It's like it's very rapidly becoming six years worth of curated content from all of the MapCon and Icon uh, series of talks. So it's not just me telling you how awesome uh, things are. It's also all of the Icon community telling you how awesome things are. And if you're watching right now from the Icon community, please drop in the chat where you're watching from, what you're up to today on this training Thursday. Um, this episode is also brought to you by me and Larry Roberts. If you have a podcast idea and you want to launch it in four weeks, go check out superjoeparter.com slash launch because in four weeks we will help you launch that show, figure out the content, plan for that show, and make sure that you do not pod fade. We we both know what's up with pod fading, and we will stop that from happening for sure. Uh, also, Saturday, June 27th, that's like in two days, Monetize Your Podcast is brought to you, uh, brought to you by Blueberry. It's a live, free, virtual conference right here in the Indie Pod community. Do, oh, D -set, Brett says do it. Yes, do oh do it as in work with Larry and I. Yeah, don't fade. Yes, you don't like because so it's so easy to fade. Th fade, blah, 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 blah. fade. Thank you so much, Brett. Thank you for being you, and thank you for being a part of the Icon community. Um, also, if you haven't heard, uh, Icon Six is live in the backyard. Uh, it's happening in this door right behind me here. We're getting a tent. We're getting porta potties, hand sanitizers, uh, a maximum of fifty people. Uh, we'll be there and we're selling live stream tickets. Go to IndiePodcasters.com slash Icon6. And if you want to get awesome shirts like the one I am wearing that says Podcaster, you should totally go check out YourIconGear.com uh, to go pick up some awesome podcasting gear to wave your podcaster flag. All right. So now we're going to, it's, it's training Thursday. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm ready to go, especially after last night's, uh, last night's, uh, wisdom Wednesday with, uh, with Chip Baker. I, I'm feeling pumped. I'm feeling like I'm, like I'm ready to do this. So why don't we get right in? Let me introduce our guest on the hot seat today. Luke Miller. How the heck are you doing today, sir? Hey, Joe, I'm doing great, man. I'm well, I'm not. I'm actually let's be honest here. Can I be honest? Yeah, of course. I want you to be honest. Please. I'm be not honest. doing. <laughs> I'm not doing that well, actually. Uh, the AC I'm, I'm down here in Florida and the AC went out last night about 10 o'clock at night. And, uh, you know, um, it's still out and it's it's about 10 30 a.m. It's, it's warming up it's getting about 85 in the house uh we've got i guess a super heat wave coming from the sahara desert they're calling it a sandstorm i, I, I heard know. about this i, I don't know how that happened. any weirder <laughs> it's like can, can, can we surprises. like what are you gonna throw at us next and and so uh and so we've got four uh about six four to six more hours before the ac people can come out here so uh, I've been better, but but we will prevail. Um, other than that, you know, doing good, enjoying well, life. That's, yeah, uh, we'll put you know. I hope I hope you got some fans. I I could I wish I could. Say, I have a a floor 
like barrel fan on the floor just like blowing air at me. I wish, I'll send me some of that your way, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Um, well, at least they can get to you today. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah you I know, mean, so hey, first world uh, problems, right? I mean, we can't. Yeah. <laughs> Dealing one day with a you know wow. heat wave, but the, yeah, the Sahara thing. I, I had seen somebody post about that, and I didn't know if they were joking or not. I, I yeah, twenty twenty man, this is. You know, I I was looking at somebody I hadn't talked to in a while. I was like, oh, let me look them up on Facebook, and I, I don't want to name I don't want to name sure. a name, but so I look up, and they're like they po- like it's January, and they're like posting like twenty twenty. I'm gonna see everything in twenty twenty. It's gonna be amazing, and it's like January second or something. They post, right. and I'm like. Well, that didn't age too well. <laughs> that didn't work out. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just and and not just for them, but like for most people, uh, you know, by and large. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's Stacey. up, Stacy Greenberg? Good to see you, Stacy. Yeah, I said the sandstorm is part of the plagues of 2020. <laughs> it yeah, the, the 2020 is is crazy wild ride that we're all lucky to to, to be able to so hopefully survive it. Mm-hmm. Um, and move on to the next, <laughs> hopefully 2021. <isn't... laughs> um, so, all right. So Luke, you, how long have you been podcasting for? Uh, September, 2018. So coming up on okay. two years. Man, look at that. I love it. I love it. Love it love oh, just it. over a hundred episodes. Like I think I'm on 102 or 103. That, that, that is awesome. Congrat- congratulations, man. Thank that you. is right. awesome. So let's pull it up. Tile Money is the name of the show. Describe the show to me. What do you what do you guys talk about? What do you Yeah, so the 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 podcast is designed for ceramic tile contractors, installers. That's my that's my background. That's what I've done since I was 17. So I, I've been in the industry 20 years, roughly 20 years. And um, you know, uh, it's it's designed to talk about the business of being a tile contractor because honestly. Uh, us tile installers and contractors, we're really concerned about the technical aspects. There's a lot of, you know, a lot to learn as far as different tile. There's a lot of different tile to, you know, be installed. Um, thank you, Tim. Um, but we forget about the business of things and our businesses are often like, you know, flat prices to install are, are similar than to our father's prices. So a lot of different things on the business front. And I chose that niche. I chose that topic because I saw there wasn't a lot of people talking about it. And uh, it was a need there. It was a pain point for my friends online. So that's why I chose that niche. Mm. You know, I think that's, that is great. So how, how uh, I see you have 62,000 listens. That's, that's awesome. That is, that is incredible for two years worth of putting. I need to update that. We're over 70 now. Man, look at that. I'm just going to break the bell today. That that is awesome. That is awesome. So yeah, so that su- I mean that is super important in the fact that like you know, you're you're not only hit, like putting in the niche, but you're actually reaching people's ears and they're saying, "Yes. Yes, I I relate to this." Um yeah. so uh, that that is that is awesome. Did you how did you how for for everybody else, how did you come about figuring out that like I'm going to talk about tile business for <laughs> A hundred plus episodes. Right. Well, that's, that could be a thing, right? Like you niche in, like you yeah. guys just talked about bi- like business or install or business in general. Yeah. You know, cause like that's, yeah. yeah, but you didn't. So I, you know, I, I do have that entrepreneurial spirit and, um, basically to break it down, um, listening to podcasts really helped my business, but I was listening, I was listening to all kinds of podcasts, real estate, uh, general contractor business, but I, I never found one strictly for tile in, in, in a couple of years listening to podcasts. I never saw actually a tile podcast. So then I, I got curious to know how these podcasters were making money. I, at the time, I was listening to a lot of uh, entrepreneurs on fire and Gary Vee. I, I listened to some of his books on Audible and, and things of that nature. So at the time, I was listening to that type of content and I, I started researching uh, how people were making podcasts and why they chose the niche they chose and how they actually made money. And everything I was le- learning actually pointed me towards niching down. Everybody said, with the internet being so expansive, you, your goal is actually to only talk to, you know, a thousand people. You know, there was that thing going around like your thousand true fans, right? Or 500 people or whatever. The number is kind of irrelevant, but find your tribe. And so when I was thinking about, well, my tribe, you know, yada, yada, yada. And then I thought, you know what my tribe is and what I have experience, life experience and business experience is tile. And so then I, I thought, okay, a tile podcast, I think that could work. 
And then I had to condense it. I, I, I just started condensing it further. I said, what, do, what am I interested in? What am I specifically interested in talking about? Because that's part of it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I wasn't so interested in the technical aspects of it. And from being an entrepreneur and studying that, I also knew that I had to hit a pain point. I had to hit a pain point and solve a problem in the industry. And so that's how I condensed it down to this format of the business of being a tile contractor. So I'm, I'm going to guess there's probably not too many other podcasts in your niche, or at least when you did it, when you started, there wasn't. Yeah, so podcast in your niche. correct. Correct. There was actually, um, no ceramic tile podcast at all. I was the first one. There was another gentleman who, who does podcasting. He was actually talking about stonework. So a similar, mm. but I didn't, I didn't find him. He was on a different platform. Since I started, it, we're friends. He's changed it to be tile and stone because that is, you know, and, but he talks about general generalities. He talks more about the techniques and then there's two or three other podcasts. And I think just yesterday I saw a fourth one that are talking about tile or flooring. So very similar, but I'm the only tile business podcast still to this day. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, I, I, I mean, that means you got the, you know, you probably have a, uh, you know, the niche cornered, right? And uh, so, you know, congratulations on that. Cause that, I, I think a lot of times it's, it's hard for podcasters to really feel confident that other people are going to fall in love with what they, you know, like, oh, if I make it, you know, I got, I want to make it a little more general because if I make it more general, then there's more people I can reach. But like, the fact of the matter is, is there's, there's, you know, riches in the niches and, uh, it just is, it's just the way it is. So have you, have you been able to monetize this at all? I have, I actually, um, so I had a business model where I was going to provide, um, you, you know, it was a rough model. I didn't have it, you know, uh, planned out, but I was going to provide digital, uh, assets, digital tools to tile contractors like web websites and, um, you know, fast forward, I, I, I did do that and I am doing that. Um, mm -hmm. and coaching and, and things like that. But I got early on, like after three months of doing this, I got called by um, the NTCA, which is the National Tile Contractors Association. They're the largest association for tile contractors. That's a nonprofit. And, and thank you. And they reached out to me you. and they said, hey, we see what you're doing. We, we see that it's a need and, and we see the response. Uh, Larry, is that your podcast or is that are no, you, I, I think he's, I think he's uh, being facetious. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, smallest sustainable audience. Right. And, and so yeah. that's, that's how I actually gained. And you know, what's funny looking back, listening to Gary Vee, listening to different experts that, you know, over the years in podcasts, um, people said, just do it and do it right and do it this way. And you won't believe what will happen. People will start reaching out to you. And that's exactly what happened, uh, Joe. It, like people started reaching out to me and saying like, do you, can we support you in any way? And I, I thought, I don't know. Like I never thought about sponsors. Sponsors was actually the last thing on my mind because I didn't, I didn't necessarily think that would work for what I was doing. And I didn't know if I wanted that, but I have two sponsors for now, you know, I don't know, probably 80 episodes have been sponsored. Uh, they've been with me since, um, thank you. Well, they've been yeah. with me since like March of 2019. That's awesome. That, that is awesome, man. And so what, what are those sponsors sell? Like what, what is the, what's their business? Uh, like grout so, or, or yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. One of them. Right? That makes um, sense. Yeah. My biggest sponsor, they sell material. So everything you need to actually install tile. So they've been with me, yeah. you know, and, and then alongside them, the NTCA, which is a nonprofit organization for tile contractors. They actually unite tile contractors. They have a lot of resources. It's a it's a paid membership type thing, you know. Hmm. Okay, that's all. That's all. Well, that's great. So that means they have some money to be able to, you know, kick mm -hmm. it your way and continue to push it. That is that is awesome. That is that is really cool. Um, so I, yeah, I mean, to go along with that, I mean, I, there's probably other sponsors that you could reach out to that, you know, I'm sure there's other, like, like, what about the, like the grout, isn't there like a grout tool thing? Like who's the company that makes the grout tool thing? Yeah. There's all kinds of tools and there's all kinds um, of, you know, 
Uh, even I, so I have attracted other sponsors. Usually it's shorter term. Like somebody sponsored me for one episode. They're a big name Schluter. And I'm still talk. I'm in talks with a bunch of companies, um, a, a tile company who actually makes tile. They sponsored me for three months. And I think they would have continued with, if it had not been for COVID. I mean, COVID, you know, they were already like not really, um, you know, a hundred percent sure if, uh, of the of the return on their investment i mean i my one contact was really you know supportive of me but the you know all these companies are older construction in general they're not really in social media so much they're not really pushing it um so i'm kind of dragging them along saying here's the value you know here's you know and so that's one of the things we could talk about is how to sell the value of a podcast to sponsors that are maybe stuck in you know 1990 or whatever yeah, sorry, I had a spider on my uh, <laughs> on my cable there. Um, so yeah, so sell sorry, so selling the selling the value of this to somebody who's not necessarily right in the same like in the same industry is that is was that your question? Uh, no, no, no. Like um, they're in the industry, they just they're kind of stuck with you know magazine ads, uh, you know traditional advertising, mm -hmm. traditional stuff. Um, and they're spending, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. For one instance, like we have several conferences a year, like every industry. And some of these companies will literally spend, you know, a couple hundred grand to get their people there to, to, to you know, build out the largest, you know, um, space they can build out really fancy, a lot of money. And like Stacy said, I, you know, when, when that was, um, it was called coverings this year and that was canceled down in New Orleans. And, and when that was canceled or when I saw it was probably going to be canceled, I started putting together a virtual conference, a virtual trade show. And like Stacy was actually in it. I interviewed Stacy or, or she did a presentation with, along with a couple of designers. But I only had like four sponsors. Um, I couldn't get anybody on board. They just didn't see the value for a fraction of the cost what they're spending on traditional stuff. So they're willing to spend big, big money traditionally but they're not willing to spend a little bit of money on a podcast. So that's kind of where I'm struggling with the sponsors. So, so one of the, you know, and I, I'm, and I don't know if I'll be telling you anything that you don't already or haven't already heard, but like the thing about, you know, podcasting is it's your voice, their ears, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's an active listening thing, right? So you put something in a magazine and you know, it's just one page or one clipping in something that might just sit on like in the waiting room at the tile. You know, you know what I mean? Like it's right. not necessarily um, going to hit the, the, the actual target that you're hoping for. Right. Kind of just like how uh, a good, a good example of that is like those daytime talk shows. Uh, you know, the, um, the, what's the one with the, like the four women and Whoopi Goldberg is one of them. Uh, uh, um, oh, I'm blanking on the name. But the anyway, but, yeah, I don't yeah, like, it, like, yeah, they have a huge viewership. But the thing is, is how many of that view, how much of that viewership that they're counting is in a doctor's office where no one's actually watching it? Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So, yeah. you know, yeah, they're counting it as, hey, we got, you know, we got people's attention because they're they're flipped to us. But the fact of the matter is, like, how many people are actually like everybody's sitting on their phone, you know that. You know, when I go to a waiting room, I'm I'm totally bringing my I don't have my headphones yeah. here, but my my ear pods, right? Like I'm I'm yeah. putting it, you know, I'm just gonna sit there and wait until I hear my name called. Yeah, uh, I'm not uh, the view. That's it. I I knew it was something like that. Thank you, Stacy. Um, so it's an active li listening audience. I mean, look, just just yesterday, I was talking to uh, to a, a pretty big name in the podcasting community uh right and and in the podcasting industry as a whole because so i was like hey i have uh, you know i'm i'm looking to monetize this this show this daily you know the indie pod daily show and this is what you know this is what i'm thinking like this is what i the, some packages i put together and he basically broke it down and said hey look uh i'm not really interested in the awareness is like you know it's awesome that you got a big mailing list it's awesome that you got so you know the social media is following but like Unless that stuff's actively converting, the best thing that we have found is to put it in the podcast because that's where people are actively 
listening, right? They're actively listening. They're and and they're trusting. It's it's a no like trust thing. There's a reason, a good reason why I've taken this show daily, right? It's right. because I'm doing the conference and I and I turned it into the virtual conference and I was doing it once a week and it was it was cool, it was fun. We had a little bit of, you know, a little bit of traction. But I was like, you know what? Let's let's supercharge it up like bam, let's let's go faster, right? Let's yeah. go daily have different topics, bring different people on uh, more more rapidly. So Larry Roberts says, that's very difficult to overcome. I've gotten as far as in-person meeting with marketing departments, and then I get stuck closing. Uh, I may need to work on my sales techniques. It's possible, but the thing is, is it, you should already be bringing that to the, the value of it to the table, and they should they should see it. So that it shouldn't really come down to your sales technique so much as like, hey, I have this this listener base, and in your case, you know, you, you're saying it right up front, eighty six hundred mm -hmm. plus, which is probably higher than that since you said that you're already over seventy thousand mm -hmm. listens. Uh mm -hmm. Right. So you're, you know, it, and then this, you know, th three hundred and thirty plus hours watched per month on YouTube. That's probably needs to be updated too, right? Yeah, they all need to be updated. <laughs> right, and that well, that's one of the things about those numbers. <laughs> There's number of things like you constantly got to go back and re-update them, but, but you know that that you know that says so much about like okay, so if you're you're um that means people are like actively watching your stuff, right? They're fine. They're fine. I'm assuming a lot of it's through search. I, I don't know how many subscribers do you have on on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, I I think is around 600 right now. 600. That's yeah. that's pretty solid. You know that that for a small you know for a small sponsorship deals like that absolutely especially because it's if it's definite to there you go 700 so you're there you go yeah. 701 there you go <laughs> 702 uh so so yeah so i i mean that 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 speaks volumes I, to me and i think that if you are having trouble with with some of them i think that all you you really need to do is just keep looking for other people that mm -hmm. are willing to yeah. that, that are willing to take it's not even a risk yeah like, it, it's 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 well, it's, that are willing to think outside the box. It's interesting that you say this because recently um, I've started a, a relationship with a with kind of a brand new company. Uh, he's been in the he's been in the business a while, but he started a um, actually a, an online tool company. So he sells tools and materials online for tile industry specific. So I've started a relationship with him, and it's already kind of like looking like it's flourishing. Um, it's going to go somewhere. So it's interesting that you say that because I need. So maybe just stop focusing on the people who give me a bunch of no's and start looking for more people. That's that's simple. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's, yeah. it sounds dumb. Like it sounds like oh, that's like yeah. duh, right? But but it is, and it's because it's easy to get hung up on the no's, right? right? It's easy to say, oh, well, I guess that's how everybody feels, and right. and even for yourself, like look, I've lived it where I felt like. Well, you know, why would somebody want to sponsor this thing or, or like it's not big enough or, and, and then you get the compare, the shout out to Larry Roberts. Like you get the comparanoia where it's like, you know, well, look at so-and-so they're doing something that's like way bigger than what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, it's, but the, the, but I, I mean, in this case you have one, like one person who's not even really a competitor to what you're doing and you already have a huge market share anyway. So, right. Right. So, you know, that's, that's some super leverage and you, you, you've been doing it for almost, almost two years, right? You said, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, that's, that alone shows like, Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I get a right. bunch of listenings. Uh, and I assume you're not slowing down uh, or you, you're not having any trouble coming up with, with topics and things, right? Yeah. The topics aren't, aren't an issue. The guests aren't an issue. Everybody kind of wants to be on it. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I do have periods of slowdown um, where I get, you know, sidetracked or something. That's the other issue is like focus, right? Mm. <laughs> In this business. Well, and that's not just that. It's not just this business. It, you know, it's everything, right? The, the shiny object syndrome is, right. is real. And, you know, a lot of times it's easy to go and focus on like, oh, let me go update my website or let me go and do this and dive down a rabbit hole when like really you just need to do the you know really the bare minimum because if you look at most websites right that aren't produ like professionally produced by somebody else i assume you're doing your own website work right uh so i have a, a partner actually w who i partnered with and we actually uh grew he's a website designer the happy tile guy yeah so he's a website oh, okay. designer and so he designed this one and then we sell websites to tile contractors um 
through him. He, he does all that and I just promote it. Um, so awesome. basically I, I do some writing, I do some writing content. So we, we, um, yeah. So our business plan is like easy upfront, but monthly payment subscription plan. Um, so we can get guys in, in nice looking websites for uh, a low price, you know? Um, and yeah, so, yeah. so uh, um, he built this site for me. Yep. So, okay. So here's, so this is, this is really like, this is really, really great because uh, for anybody that that's watching, you know, this week we've been revolving a lot of the week around monetize your podcast. And like, literally this is what we're talking like coincidentally, yeah. ding, yeah. ding. This is what we're talking about today on training Thursday. So, uh, so, all right. So here, so do you have a media kit yet? I do or actually. Do just, I was oh, wondering okay. if you, I mean, I don't know. Can we can, pull it, we can, can I pull look it at it. Or yeah, do you want to uh, share your screen with it? If I, if I can uh, pull up on, it's not on the website, so I'll, I'll have to share my screen. Okay, yeah, share your screen. Let's take let's take a look at it. let's dive into it. It might take me a minute here. No, go ahead. Um, so it, you know, in the meantime, you know, if you're, you know, when people are looking for how to how to so oh, okay. In the meantime, Luke, is this is this what you're trying to do full time? Are you trying to turn this into like I host events, I do I, podcasts, like maybe I'll write a book. Exactly. I actually am. It is my living, actually. Oh. So I moved. Um, I left California and uh, separated myself from that um, state and that business that I was running there so that I could focus on this full time. And I am like, you know, the two sponsors, they do pay me um, a significant amount. It's nothing. It's nothing traditional. And I'm not so I'm not complaining about that. I just I kind of need, you know, to get, you know, you know, to the next level, even you, you want to go back to California, right? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you don't. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Well, it's just, you need a lot more money probably. If yeah. I would gonna, probably need more money state. if I was to move back to California. So yeah. Um, yeah. Where, where are you currently living now? Uh, Florida, Florida, Florida. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, this is a great state for that. Cause there's no income tax. So exactly. You know, it's a, it's a good, it's a good state to be in for, exactly. for uh, self-employed. It was one of the reasons we actually chose it, you know, um, to be honest. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's uh, once my kids get older, I, I very well might finally turn in this house and, yeah. and, and move south myself. Um, awesome. That looks really good. All right. So let's, uh, let's scroll down to the second page. Can you scroll or do I need to do that? No, you need to scroll. Yeah, I can't. I, okay. I wish they would add a, a way for me to control your screen. It would be. But this is really, I mean, for presentation purposes, not for. Yeah. So the control. stats are all false. I need to. I, that's the last thing I need to fix here. They were just like generic stats, but I need to fix all. Uh, okay, oh, OK. OK. But you can see here I put my brand collaborators. I put, you know, everywhere you, it's listened to. You have, you have a Facebook group currently, right? I do. It's like over 4,000 members now. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. And then so I talk about the power of podcasts, kind of like what you were saying. I, I give a live shot. I was recording live at one of the events last year. Talk about the like different that. the different things we could do together, services offered. Okay. And then I get into pricing, which um, again, another little photo. So I'll I'll pause here and let you read that. Okay. Reading this, do you on one of the previous pages? Uh, I'm gonna say it would be awesome if you had one or two testimonials mm. explaining like what the ROI is on because I mean, the, the amount of money you're asking for up front, which is totally understandable, and I don't disagree with it. <laughs> I, I could see where people would be like, Oh, okay, uh, you know, 20, you know, if you're looking for 25,000, uh, you know, it it's not necessarily it's not a bad deal but like where, where what's the what's the physical like roi there right like so how, I have how, people i work with have a testimony or the audience no the people well maybe maybe both but i, I would definitely go for the spon the sponsor testimonial like that's because that, because they could say like hey when we sponsor this episode we see a return uh you know we get because i'm assuming you do some kind of like hey if you go to 
the you know the tile store.com slash uh tile money or, or or tm or something you know that they're are they tracking any of that with with you you know what that's i don't think they're tracking it and i need to be tracking it yeah so that i mean so the way you can uh i mean i don't know if you'd be able to necessarily track their sales from it but at least you could track people going track to it, it. so yeah. you're using wordpress i assume right correct so are you you do you use uh pretty links at all I, I don't believe, I don't know. I'll have to ask. Oh, okay. So yeah. So you want to use pretty links. And the reason you want to use pretty links is because not only will you be able to track, you'll be able to create like, Hey, go to, I don't know. What, what's one of your, your, your spots names was uh NT CA National tile CA. Like you'll be able to say, Hey, go to uh tile money.com slash N like NT Mm -hmm. uh and to and that is how you get to their like you bring them to like their landing page right so now and i'm pulling up my screen here sure so you can check out the pretty links in in indie pod so with pretty links let me uh blow my screen up a little bit so i can see how many clicks and how many uniques there are mm -hmm. right so it's an easy way to track and you can just create like a short like okay so i have like my you know the kit and I have it shortened to independentpodcastconference.com slash kit, right? And if I click on that, I can change the link later. So like when I upload a new version of the PDF or something, I just have to change this link out, the target link. Mm -hmm. So that that enables me to, uh, oh, and Carrie, Carrie loves Pretty Links. Yes, Pretty Links, is for being free, it, they give, oh, honestly, they give way too much away. Mm -hmm. uh, Larry Roberts is a great looking media kit. I, I would agree. Uh, if you have a an audience testimony, it should be related to sponsor getting a sale from them. Yeah, absolutely. Ding, ding. Right. Right. And, and right. So that absolutely carry. That is that is the that is the testimonial that you're looking for for that for on that end of it. But I would absolutely be looking for uh, a sponsor testimonial that ha that talks about ROI and what the value of being a, a you know a sponsor of your show uh, brings to to them. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, it's because because of that. So like that that absolutely uh, is a thing. So yeah, pretty links, totally free. You can pay for it though. I admittedly don't know the value of paying for it because as far as I'm concerned, like if I click on pretty links and I go to let's say this one here, right? I can click on the Streamyard link. I can actually see like the wave mm -hmm. of when people click on that link wow. and IP I addresses. Buy a lot. Yeah. So yeah, so you're tracking all you get all that information for free. It's yeah. pretty powerful, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So now all of a sudden it's like you you can track who's going who's going to your to your stuff mm -hmm. or to go into their stuff through your link. Um so it's just another another way. And plus you can also start creating like those simple things like, hey, we're doing indiepodcon.com slash virtual, right? So right. every time like it's always this, in that case, it's always the same page, but when people go to join the, the the call it's always slash join everywhere and it takes you to where i point it to mm. so let me pull back up your your thing so i you know i don't for 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 years worth of sponsorship i don't think that's bad at all um your company will be heard over fifty thousand times annually that is that's pretty incredible that's pretty impactful um but again without having a, a ref a frame of reference for the roi that that will bring Mm -hmm. um it, it might be hard to swallow depending on the, the the size of the fish you're going for right right like if you're going for like the you know the big box brand of tile people maker thing you know that twenty five thousand dollars is like nothing to them right like right they, they might be like oh it's not twenty thousand dollars like that, that i guess there right. isn't enough value there for me or right. they might even be like it's not a hundred thousand dollars there isn't enough value there for me exactly it's such a weird thing because at the end of the day, we're all just like trying our best to put together a package that makes sense at a price I, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I like the fact that you at least talk about like, you know, building something custom up above, like, Hey, we offer, I offer all of these different aspects to this. Uh, so, uh, let's, what's the last, what's on the last page there? So the last page is contact info. Okay. With with all my contact info, I guess that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the only thing I do a little differently there is I think my name and email address might be on like a bunch of the 
like somewhere like in the corner of the slides. And I could actually be mistaken. <laughs> I could be mistaken. Let me let me pull yeah. it up and and see if I'm I might actually be on the mistaken. footer of every slide or whatever. Well, I think it's it's not okay. So it's not every page, but I think I have mine off to the side of the packages page. So it's like at least the my my phone number and my email address are right there on the side of that page. But other than that, um, yeah, I yeah no I, I think it looks great. I think just get your numbers updated. Go at, reach out to one of your sponsors. Get them to to give you a, a you know so and the only the only uh, I would say do you, do you have a good contact at one of those sponsors? The, like, yeah, I've got friendly contact that like if you ask them that question, they're not going to be like. Hmm, well, let me go find out and be like, you know, yeah, now no. that you mention it. And then you're looking down the barrel of not having it. Um, but no, in, the no. meantime, yeah. in the meantime, definitely get pretty links and, and, and okay. maybe start tracking that now. So you have that, that, that thing. So you can say, throw that in there. Like, Hey, look, when I say this, when I say a link, right. it's getting, you know, 10,000 clicks in a month, right. You know, or it's right. getting 10,000 clicks in three months. I mean, I don't right. know what, you know, it's hard. It's podcasting is, is hard, right? Because when you say something, people are mowing the lawn, they're they're driving, like they're doing something that they can't just be like, oh, hold on, let me just pause life and go to that link. But I will say this, when you hear the same message over and over and over again, um, you know, and they know like, hey, you go to use my affiliate link or you, you know, and, and it's tilemoney.com slash you know, NTSC, NTS, was it NTSC? CA, 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 sorry. NTSC oh, wow. is the, uh, the TV standard. Sure. Um, you know, so it, that is an opportunity like that. That's, you know, when I, when I go and look like, Oh, I, I'm going to go use fresh books. Right. So mm -hmm. I'm looking up LTT, which is Linus tech tips. Cause that's one of the YouTubers I watch a lot and they, they sponsor them him a lot. I'm going to go to that link, even though I've seen it from other places, but like, Hey, I'm, I'm going to use his link. Cause I really like him. I like what he does. And he puts out a daily video. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, on tech. So it's, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, at least you have the opportunity to shorten up a link and kind of guide the traffic through your portal. Um, yeah, no, I'm definitely going to be, be utilizing that tool. Great tip. Thank you. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I, 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 yeah, I think you're, I think you're good there. I think you really just need to, to, you know, put those other pieces together, get your, see if you can get yourself a, a an ROI, even if it's kind of fugazi a little bit, you know, um, just something like, cause like not fake, but just like they're off the cuff, right? Like mm -hmm. from the testimonial, like we don't need you to go diving into your books and figuring out like, Hey, when we sponsored this episode, we got, cause it's, it's hard to, it's hard to, to gauge that. But the fact that matters is they're still sending you money even yeah. if regardless, right. They're still yeah. sending you money. So, um, to, you know, to almost two years into the relationship with them, that's incredible. That's, that is absolutely incredible. Speaking of that, uh, for anybody that's going to be watching the, uh, monetize your podcast live, uh, for vert, yeah, free virtual live conference this weekend, the last speaker is Todd Cochran. And he's going to talk about his 15 years wow. of GoDaddy sponsorship. 15, wow. like since the beginning awesome. of podcasting, pretty much. Yeah. He has been sponsored by GoDaddy. So, uh, wow. yeah. Is it, yeah. So, uh, that's a, that's a, that's the last talk of the day. And I don't have it in front of me as what time it's supposed to happen. But, uh, I will, I'm pulling what day? it up now. What day? It's Saturday, June 27th. Uh, it oh, starts at Saturday. 9 a.m. Okay. Eastern. Uh, it's this Saturday. His talk is at 2.07 p.m., give or take a few minutes. Um, yeah, 15 years of continual GoDaddy sponsorship. It's uh, his story is I, I really like his story. Um, and he's I, I asked you know I, I personally reached out to him and said, hey, would you be willing to share your story? Because I think it's so impactful for people to hear about how you know you, hey he just was getting started in the time when like nobody knew what the a podcast was except for like the geekiest of geeks, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, so yeah, I I think uh, I was you, thinking of the oh uh, go ahead. On this page, um, do you do you like the way I've kind of broken it down here, or should it just like originally I just liked a lump sum, or, or like a lump, you know, um, hey, you're a sponsor and and I'll put you in as I see fit, or should I break it down? Does this even make sense to you reading it? So I mean, the uh, it, so if I, yeah, so that's a that's a great question because I not particularly. 
Not particularly. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Not, not, not. Well, that's not as much. The, like, that... the bottom one, the annual 25 does, but the sponsorship opportunities being above it. Uh, is that, is that what you're doing for each of those things that's each... below? Yeah. So in each episode I would have like, so each episode has two 30 second spotter sponsorship spots. Each episode has a three minute tile news and a five minute tile money tip segment. And then there's a, there was a five minute weekly bonus episode. So maybe I just need to take all that out. Um, it's so, uh, so, okay. So here, here's my question then. So you're getting 10 pre-roll, uh, 30 second ads and then 10 post roll 30 second ads for 2000 so oh oh i was i was reading that as adds um so so this isn't how 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 many episodes do you put out a week i one a week i guess one a week and then you do a bonus episode well Uh, i was but i stopped doing it because i i mean yeah so i stopped doing that so i need to actually i could I could add that in. I've actually been thinking I'm going to go up to two or even three episodes a week. I'm kind of been watching what you, you're doing, Joe, and thinking, you know, I, I need to do more. And plus, I want to just back, you know, get some more on the cattle, you know, the backlog. Um, now that I'm using StreamYard myself, it's it's been funner for me. It's been more interactive with the audience and uh, it's yeah. easier just to go and interview someone. So. It, it, it yeah it does make it easier larry roberts uh, says well i'll be talking about podcast pipe dream and how it's much more difficult to profit from your podcast than you have right. heard uh yeah larry will be speaking at 134 he'll be uh warming up for todd cochran's uh closing talk nice. this weekend on saturday um well first off i i appreciate that because that is absolutely the reason that i am doing that maybe add in a quarterly option carrie says Mm. yeah i i would uh i i would i would i would definitely offer a few extra um uh a few extra pieces to that like here let me let me share my screen so this is still a work in progress because i admittedly it's it is very tough to figure out like the right like formula as far right. as like the right mixture of like how much should i give in each each thing so on the co- on the combo packages um i tried to set it up so it's like okay it's 500 bucks a thousand dollars to twenty two hundred dollars and eighteen thousand dollars for for a year um now the thing the thing with that is like i'm still trying to like it depends on who you go and ask right like some people want awareness some people want uh you know conversions if you, you know, it's just like when you, you, I mean, you've done Facebook ads, I'm sure. Right, Luke. Right. When you go to Facebook ads, the first, what's the first question they ask you, what are you looking to accomplish? Right. Right. So it, which, which admittedly is very hard to figure out sometimes when you're trying right. to build a PDF and it's not interactive and you can't, Oh, I'll just take a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yes. Right. Uh, Larry loves the, or uh, Carrie loves the, the Fortnite, Right. Yeah, well, because it's a two it's a two week thing, right? One week right. blitz, the fortnight, the month, and the presidential year. Um, it, it's I don't know. It, so I'm still trying to figure out the right the right mixture of like exposure versus like podcast episodes. And when you're doing it daily, you can turn through a lot um, because at the same time, like I don't want to ca- I don't want to carry. Po- um, I don't want to carry sponsors for like months and months and months and months and months unless they're like, Trump. Y- you know, what? on one, pa- like, okay, they pay me a thousand dollars. And now I'm, I'm, I got to like space out all these episodes with the sponsors and things for over the course of a year or something like that. I could do it, but I'm just trying to figure out like, what's the best, easiest way to make it work for, for them, you yeah. know, for, you know, it's for them, for me. So it's it's a constant thing, but like at least this way they have the the, the you know the the dollar me- or not the dollar menu the the combo menu at at, at McDonald's right like right. Oh, I'll take a number one number two and a four yeah that's you know I try to do so if you look up um if I look up the other sponsorship kit so like in comparison to how I have I think this is the pretty link and it's not the part pretty link maybe partner. Oh God, I don't know. I don't know what my, <laughs> I don't know what the, uh, okay. We'll go to V kit. V kit will be, so this is for the virtual conference, right? So 
the these spo- these sponsorship spots are a lot cheaper, and I've was able to include you know a, a, a sizable amount for a lot less money because of the the nature of what it is and what I'm having to put in for it. Yeah. So, you know, it's just to me, it's um I was looking what I was looking for was our podcast conference um like our Icon Six package. I don't know where that is at the moment, but um. But the idea is, is I had like multiple pages. So I had the package page and then I had the a la carte pages that go under. So like you pack, you pick a, you pick a package and then you go to the a la carte and say, oh, I want to sponsor the mic flags. I want to sponsor the food. I want to sponsor the bathrooms. I want to sponsor the whatever. And, and you just create a package, you know, like another block like <laughs> that now it can it can definitely end up being a lot it just depends on what you you have to offer um and what you know how you format it so it doesn't look like it's like oh like one package is a whole page so when we go back and look at yours uh the top is is kind of like i would i would definitely come up with at least three to four packages Mm -hmm. you know the reason the packages as i'm sure that you probably know it's because you want people to take at least the second to third package, right? right? right. You're trying to price it so that they're like, oh, well, if I'm going to spend $100 anyway, because the hardest thing to do, especially in the internet world, is to get people to spend one cent. You get them to go one cent, then you can go a dollar. If you can go a dollar, right. you can go five dollars. You can go five dollars, you can go ten dollars. Before you know it, you're at 20, 50, $100. The, the sky's the limit. But yeah. getting them to say yes to just one cent is is hard. So if you create at least three easy packages, that could probably break down some of the barriers that you're having there by saying, hey, I need $25,000. And are you fi- are allowing them to finance that at all? Or you're just like, I need 25000 up front? No, yeah, they are on, on a monthly deal. <clears throat> okay. So they're on does, month- it, does it state that anywhere in here? Uh, no, I don't believe so. I was so actually hoping be... I could get some more lump sums. So... Um, but yeah, they're on. I I can accept monthly, you know, either really, way. Or, or I would do quarterly because yeah. yeah, I would definitely go quarterly because at that point you're talking like such a little bit amount of right. money that you're going to be chasing them, right? You know, each month. So I would say if you're if you're going to break it down, break it down quarterly, and that way if they they stop paying for the month, you know, the three months, it's just like okay, it's over. Like, right. I guess you know whatever it is, and and that way you can um keep the relationship going too, right? Because like. COVID happens, all of a sudden they stop sponsoring. Right. Okay, I get it. It's, you know, totally understandable. Um, we can either, you know, we'll pick back up when, when things get better uh, and, and you're not out money or, and they're not out you giving them sponsorship that they isn't going to be as valuable to them at that time. I mean, this is kind of circumstances that aren't, you know, right. normal to say the least. Right, right. Uh, but yeah, I would come up with a couple of packages. I think um, the let's see the two days of two day events and seminars. I I don't know that I would put that on that page because mm-hmm. um, it just it feels like it, it like it's you're talking about kind of something yeah. different. Um, yeah. I think the live podcast with influencers though makes sense um, to be on that page. I think it's like a a la carte kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I think if you get the ROI testimonial, you get a listener testimonial of somebody who listened and bought you know bought into what they you know, because of that, that would be super powerful. Um, mm-hmm. and you know, I think you fix this page up to, to include a couple, like an, like a quarterly and maybe a half a year and then the an annual. Mm-hmm. So at least they can, like they, cause people aren't as imaginative as us, Luke, right? <laughs> right. It's as much, as hard as that is to believe yeah, people yeah. are just not as, ima- they don't look at this and say, Hmm, like what can I, well, okay. 25,000. What, what can I do for, for eight or what can I do right. for seven? You know, right. what can, like, you know, they're, they're not looking at it and, and they're looking at this and saying, okay, $7,500 for, for 10 bonus episode ads. Like, what does that really, what does that really mean? And why is that so much more than the, the pre, like the pre-rolls mm-hmm. and the post-roll, right? So, so I think, um, yeah. so yeah, I mean, whenever I'm doing pricing, the first thing I do, uh, you know what, let me see if I can pull up. And then would the you put this? Would would you think I should put this on my website, like a link to download? Probably, yeah. Huh? Yeah, I would say so. I Once mean, I have it polished up. I yeah. mean, who's who who's going to download it? That's going to like be your competition anyway. No, yeah, exactly. Right. So well, it's I not actually, like you're like, oh, I don't want competition to see it. Like, it's funny. I don't I don't really view people as competition. I actually one of the other podcasters. I've interviewed all these podcasters that are in my space, and I actually mm-hmm. sent them my my thing 
my media kit here just the other day because he's like, oh, someone reached out and he's like, I don't know what to say. And I'm like, well, don't, you know, don't sell yourself short because that's the last thing we need is to start, you know, uh, underbidding each other. I said, look, I'll just share, share my thing with you. So. Yeah, I would say absolutely put it put it on the website. Yeah. Um, you know, I have it if you go to like the virtual conference, right? Like it's literally the first thing up there is yeah. want to sponsor the conference nice. uh, after the name of it, right? Yeah. So, it, you know, you click on it, you get the sponsorship kit. Um, and actually speaking of which, I think I can go to if I click here for icon six, I might be able to pull up the Yeah, there you go. Proper. I got to move. I got to move that up up top. But if I go down here, this might have. Yeah. So this is like the a la carte page I was talking about. So you can sponsor the porta potties or sponsor the food uh, at at the event versus like, here's the packages. Right. This is how we're charging to like this is the standard package. And if you want something custom, the last page I, I, I have is let's make some magic, right? If you have an idea, like if you are that creative person that we were just talking about that okay. not everybody is, and you're like, I've never seen blah, blah, blah. And you, we, how do we make that happen? Cool. cool. What's yeah. your budget? Let's see if we can make it happen. Um, so that's, you know, that's what I would, uh, that's what I would say. I love your, your use of people and picture, you know, pictures of people faces. I mean, it definitely speaks volumes. Well, uh, to, to be honest, somebody, um, I partnered with somebody for my last virtual uh, event and she actually made this for me. And so now my next question is, I don't know how to redo this um, or, or edit it. I'm not quite sure. Did she sure. send you it in like a PowerPoint or Adobe Illustrator or, or she just sent you the PDF? I think just the PDF. Ooh, I, I, I can ask her. I mean, she's a friend, so I'll, I'll ask her to send it in. Yeah. And something that I can edit. That's a good idea. Yeah. Power, power. I mean, I do PowerPoint. mine in PowerPoint. It, you know, it doesn't have to be fancy. It, okay. You, know, you don't need Adobe Illustrator and like the fanciest uh, editing software. Right. You're literally putting text and pictures together. It's not. Right. You know, it's not rocket science. Okay. Um, okay. So, so you, you know, you just need to put it, put it together. Um. So yeah. So like, what I, what I try to do. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So what I try to do is I try to like figure out like, okay, what, how right. many episode numbers, what's the number of each view, what's the cost per view. So at least I have a baseline of like, okay, if, if I'm charging this, this is what this is worth. And then I can start to build the packages based around that. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I use spreadsheets a lot uh, to try to figure out like, okay, if, if this is worth, you know, 20 cents per open in the email, uh, you know, what, what would it cost? So you also got to look at it in the, in terms of, um, in terms of like, if they were buying Facebook ads, right. How much would that, how much would they have to spend to get, to get there, to, you mm -hmm. know, to get the view, get the views and, and to get conversion. So you're trying to like figure, and I, and I'm not professing that all my numbers are like the perfect, you know, this is not the most perfect example. In fact, you know, the person I sent it to was like, Hey, like, here's, Here's what I'm looking at. Here's how I, how we, you know, approach this. And now he doesn't uh, approach it the same way as everybody else approaches it necessarily, but it's just a matter of like, okay, so if I, maybe I need to, well, listen, right. That's the number mm -hmm. one thing you could always do is listen. Right. Uh, I I'm fortunate enough to be able to get feedback on it from a, a, a viable source. Now, how do I go about implementing that? Right. And I, and I think when you're going into that, that sales call and saying, Hey, what what can I you know here here's my here's what I do and here's the the media kit you know the, the number one question you can ask is like well what do you think you know what's your opinion of this what what um you know what feedback can you give me to teach me because obviously I'm trying to sell to you I'm not selling to me mm -hmm. right and I think that that sometimes is the uh you know the crux of like the the sales can be so much more about listening. Uh, an implementation than just like, Hey, I got this pen and it's $20 and it's, right. it's your, it's all you, right? Like, right. you know, give them the pen. What, the, what does the pen feel like? How does, how does it, does the pen suck? Tell me, cause I don't want to sell a sucky pen, like right. that kind of thing. So right. I, I would absolutely look at it from a, per, from a perspective of like putting the numbers together, put a couple of packages together so that they don't have to do the math in their head mm -hmm. um, and, and let them, let them tell you what they think and then be like, Oh, well I can customize this for you. If, if you, you know, you, or maybe come up with like a starter package, uh -huh. you know, but the thing is the, the, the crux of a starter package is that people have to hear a message like, 
it used to be like seven times. Now it's like 20 sometimes before <laughs> they actually right. want to like right. take action on it. But with that said, your audience is very specific of who it is. So right. the odds of them taking action is probably a lot higher. Right. Um, though still probably low in the grand scheme of things. It's probably still a lot higher. So like, instead of being like a 2% of 2% of people are going to go do something, take action or less 1%, mm -hmm. 2%. I mean, it's probably more like 10 or 20 or 30%, but that's high, right? Like, you know, and as your numbers continue to grow, that's going to continue to, to bolster up as well. So, I mean, think about it. if you have, you know, a 10,000 listeners and just like 20% of them take action, then that's uh, potentially 2000 sales, right? Like, like that, right? Like, Right. You just, you know, somebody's, yeah. somebody's cashing in on that. Right. Yeah. So just got to keep it, keep it in, in perspective, create those packages. And, uh, I, I think you're, I think you're, they're definitely on your way, man. That's okay. That is awesome. You should be super proud of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. I am. Appreciate that, Joe. Awesome. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. So what else, what else can I do before we wrap up here for you? Um, yeah, no, that was very helpful. That was very helpful. I appreciate that. Um, I think, you know, I, I've also been considering doing, you know, something like what you're doing with with a secondary group where the virtual trade show, you know, it was three days long. Um, it was kind of spread out. I mean, it, we had some great content, uh, but I'm thinking of I, I think it was on a platform where people weren't. We used Zoom. Uh, we used uh, actually I, I told you we were going to use uh, what's the name of that that software we used. Uh um, oh, I think you did tell me that. Um, mm -hmm. oh, we used uh, Hey Summit. Hey Summit. Hey Summit. Yep. Yeah. And we yeah. so we used Hey Summit, and it ended out. You know, I mean, we had over five hundred people register. You know, but we had you know people were confused. You know, because then they went to Zoom, and then I had actually a third thing involved, which we used for the trade booths. Um, so now I'm thinking of just doing it the way you're doing it inside a private group. Uh, one day at a time, at, at like six to eight hours and, and focused on a subject. I really like that with you. It's focused on subjects. And so that's what I'm thinking of doing is just focusing on one subject at a time, maybe attracting a specific um, sponsor for that. And Stacy enjoyed it. A lot of people did enjoy the platform. Hey, Summit. I mean, it was a good platform. The ones that um, get it, though. The problem is a lot of contractors are on their cell phones, not a computer. Mm -hmm. So anything that's a little bit more works it's more smooth and, and is, is built for a computer. They're not, they're not really enjoying. Um, they're, I mean, they're doing billing and everything from apps on their cell phone now. So to ask them then, you know, some of these guys don't even own a computer. So to ask them to do that is a bit of a stretch sometimes. I mean, the zoom actually worked great because people could close their phone and listen and that actually worked great. So I hate to lose that. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know if Streamyard has an option like that. I don't think they would, but, um, so I'm considering doing the thing like you're doing. So I, 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 I don't, I guess I'm not, you know, I don't have a specific question. I just want to, you know, thank you for oh, you know, putting yeah. it out there. And, um, I, I think that's my next step with the trade shows to try that and see how that goes. And then like you're doing, putting it behind a paid wall with specific subjects and stuff. Um, I, I think that's my next, um, step with monetizing, you know, kind of by, Feelings. I know we spent the hour talking about sponsors, but my feelings recently have been back to the audience, back to my original plan because I am, you know, I have a steady income over here with the sponsors, and now I can focus on this and try to raise my my income from the audience by providing them value and something I can monetize. Am I, you know, so that's kind of my plan. Um, so I not really a question, but <laughs> do you have any thoughts or, or advice yeah. there? Well, okay. So I know one of the things you said in the, in the message that you sent me a while back, which I apologize that we haven't gotten a chance to talk to each other. Sooner yeah, no problem. Than, no problem. Than, I mean, heck that was almost a month ago. Now. Oh, it's so been, I, time goes you sent me like six time. questions in one message. So, uh, is, which is, t it's tough to be able to reply to all sure. of that in, yeah. in, especially in line, not because I can't reply in line with, uh, with that. Or actually, I think that they had that. I think they added that where you can reply in line. Oh yeah. Kind of. Um, so yeah, I mean, you, I know you, in the, in the message you said like, Hey, I spent all this money on like, Hey summit, which I don't, I don't know how much Hey summit is. Cause I've never actually really looked actually Hey summit was fairly, they have an inexpensive option. I, 
I actually picked up a temporary partner with that. And so they invested quite a bit of money. Um, mm. Oh yeah, yeah. That's not that bad. Yeah. You're it's not that bad. Though. Actually. That is, that is really reason. That is really reasonable. Yeah. Um, so what, I mean, so yeah, I, I think you had said that you had put in, you had, you had spent like a bunch of money and invested a bunch of time and you're like, the time. That you, yeah. yeah. And you didn't feel like you got the return out of it that you were kind of hoping for. And, and, and I think that's one of the reasons why look, I, I, I am very cheap <laughs> when it comes to things like, how can I find the cheapest way? I mean, we talked about pretty links for how long and that's a, it's free. You could pay for it. If you love it and you want those services, please, Support, please yeah. send them some money. If I die, yeah. I almost feel like I should do, I'm, I'm should find a way to donate to them or something just to send them a few bucks to, to say thank you for all of the hard work that they've put in uh, to, to keep it updated over these years. But, you know, I, to me, like I'm always looking for like, how can I do it cheap? How can I, you know, keep more of the money in my pocket? Right. Because as, as the business owner, Lord. um you know, it's always about like, how, how do I keep the money? Right. If I'm putting out all the money for services and this, that, and the third, and like, Oh, I signed up for this thing. It was like $50 and that thing's $25. I have this over here. It's another $20 and that's $45 a month. And that's $75 a month. Like all of a sudden, like all the money is just going right out right. the door. Right. You know, where, where, where's it going to come? You know, it just means that you got to do that much more work to, to refill for things you're not even getting your use out of. Mm -hmm. So, um, so like the reason, you know, reason StreamYard, because I can stream right to Facebook, right? And right. everybody right. knows Facebook. Even the, these contractor guys, they know how to get on their phone yeah, and check Facebook, yeah. you know? So that, um, it, you know, it just it just makes it so much easier uh, for when you use a platform like this, uh, whether it's this or Restream or, or one of the other ones out there where you're just going, they're just going to something they know. Now, mm -hmm. I will agree with you. It does stink that if you're playing the Facebook video, the moment you turn your, your phone off, you, you just lost the um, a feed. Yeah. You know, you just lost the feed. So that, that part of it does stink, but if you're delivering value, I mean, it's worth them keeping. The, I mean, they'll, the screen will stay on automatically. It's just, they can't, you know. Well, and I, I think that, uh, sorry. I think the point yeah. there is to, to record the content and then put it behind a paid wall. So even if you have a dozen people watching, you know, you want, you know, three dozen to purchase the monthly subscription or whatever, correct? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's the goal, right? I mean, that's one of the reasons we have the indie, now indiepodu.com, not indiepoduniversity. Well, you can go to indiepoduniversity.com, but indiepoduniversity.com. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, I actually just registered that while we were talking because I was I was reading and I'm like, oh, I wonder if indiepodu is available. <laughs> I registered it, so it works now. Um, you know, it it, it look, I I I want people to um. Obviously, the speakers own the content, right? They can they can take their talks, they can do whatever they want. For, as far as I'm concerned, it's kind of promotion for you know the logo is always on sure. the top unless they cut sure. it out, um, and that that's on them. If they want to do that, then I I I'm not you know they own the content. It's up to them oh, to do that. Yeah, yeah, right. So I I'm taking the content and I'm just I'm archiving it into a behind a paywall so that if people want to support what's going on, they absolutely can and get access to hundreds of hours of resources. Uh, for literally just ten dollars a month. I mean, it's it's. I can't make it any cheaper. Um, yeah. Now, with that said, I do have a different uh, different arm to the like different membership um, mm -hmm. membership mm -hmm. like uh, a category, oh. if you will, category. that yeah. will be coming out later. Um, that will include IndiePod U, but at the same time, you'll also have access to like a whole separate Facebook group and a whole separate set of calls and like Q and A and stuff like that. So like these things will come. It's just a matter of putting it all. Oh, I froze. Appa apparently we froze. Did we, fr we froze? How did we freeze? Let me see. I'm going to Facebook now to see if we froze. We're live right now. Might be just. Stacy, yeah, I'm I'm still showing as being live. I I still uh, I still see the video. Uh, let's see. Is it hopefully? Yeah, no, definitely not frozen. Um, so anyway. Uh, yeah. So like, but that, but again, it all comes back to like, Hey, there's this resource that starts at just ten dollars a month, and like you, oh, it's all good now. Woohoo! Great. Um. 
there's this resource that you can get starting at just $10 a month. And, and that's the, you know, if you want to just do the research and stuff on your own, like it's all there, the whole mm -hmm. library is there, right? Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. But if you want curated stuff, if you want all that, like it's going to, there's a whole nother group that's going to have to come, come about that. Cause that means it requires a lot more time on my part than just yeah. getting the videos uploaded and make sure they're tagged right. And with the right, you know, searchable stuff. And, you know, so it, it, there's, there's just levels of it that, you know, I think that, um, I think it makes a lot of sense for you, especially if you're going to continue to do the virtual events or even in-person events, you, do, um, the, the in-person events you've done, did you, um, did you do like a virtual ticket for it at all? Did you record I, them? Uh, I recorded it with my zoom H five. I, I recorded the audio only. Uh, oh, it was an okay. eight, it was a way eight hour in-person event. Um, wow. the, the other events are like industry events I just attend, but I'm considering doing some more in-person events with, with more training. Um, so, so yeah, I would be probably, um, upgrading to, you know, videographers and stuff for that. Uh, yeah. I mean, it depends on the level of, um, you know, the price in which you're going to charge for it. But yeah, like I, th that, I mean, the, thing, the great thing is you have it forever, right? Like you have right. the video, the, the content is probably evergreen because mm -hmm. it's tile. <laughs> like, right. right. I mean, there's exactly. probably, you know, different like chemicals and stuff change, but for the most part, it's still tile. Right. Um, so I, you know, that's, which is awesome. So I, yeah, I would say that at that point, it probably is worth investing, investing in um, a videographer and like getting everything clipped together. And then all of a sudden you get charged for charge a lot more, yeah. you know, money. Cause you're like, Hey, look, this is actually, you know, entertaining to watch. It's, it's, it's engaging to watch right? versus like, you know, some of my, or, you know, actually most of my, my videos are like a camera stuck in the back of the room and it's just, it's videoing the whole stage it works. It does the child. It has good audio, yeah. but it's nothing produced for sure. There's not multiple camera angles and, right. and anything. Nothing I'm sending to them. That's like, Hey, you know, to the speakers and say, Hey, like you put this in your speaker reel and make sure that you, you put my logo up in there for you. Like it's something to, to think about, but then you're talking about a lot more costs. And one of the things about the, if I've learned anything, uh, from, from doing MapCon and indie PodCon is knowing what the market will bear, right. For, content and and all of that is right. uh you know there's just where people are like there's only so much that they're willing to pay like willing to pay in most cases and i'm there for most people so that's it just is the nature of who i who i set my goal you know who i set my flag into yeah <laughs> but uh but luke thank you so thank you for that i appreciate it i hope to continue to inspire you and other people to to take action oh, yeah, and sure. and drive harder faster stronger um and and th thank you so much for being a part of the community man yeah my pleasure my pleasure and thanks for for doing this live coaching it's been beneficial i appreciate it bam look at that i love it let's go take it let's take it to the bank man let's all take right. it to the bank all right all right so uh, if you've enjoyed this episode of Indie Pod Daily, uh, the Indie Pod Daily Show, please, please, please share it with the podcaster in your life, uh, and go check out Indie Pod University over at IndiePodU.com. That's a brand new domain name as of uh, like 25 minutes ago, and uh, yeah, go check it out because there's hundred, like over a hundred hours of podcasting resource videos from podcasting SEO to uh, headphones, how to use, you know, how to better use your headphones. And it's not just me talking. It's not all videos. It's just Joe. It's all the talks from six years of MapCon and icon events. So it is absolutely incredible social media stuff. Like it, everything's there. You can go check it out. IndiePodU.com. All the tags are there to check out what, you know, what, whatever you want to see, like you just click on it and you can actually see what, how many videos are there in each of those categories and what the titles are and the, the, you know, the thumbnails and decide if it's for you, if it's for, if it's for you, there's a seven day free trial. So go check it out at indiepodu.com. I like that new domain name. <laughs> I'm glad I, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna do a little pound back. That, that, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that, Joe. All right, everybody. Uh, tomorrow is figure it out Friday. Bring your questions to get answers to here uh i don't have a time yet of when i'll be doing it but i think my calendar is pretty open tomorrow so probably i'm gonna say probably at like two o'clock tomorrow 2 p.m eastern uh i will do that i will do figure it out friday bring your podcast questions we'll get answers we'll recap the week we'll talk about what's going on 
Saturday, which is Monetize Your Podcast. You got to be there. Uh, it's a live, free, virtual conference right in the, um, I was about to say in the Bluebird, right here in the IndiePod community. And uh, you you can uh, be a part of it and interact with our speakers. We have 10 speakers that will be here today to help you, or Saturday, to help you learn how to monetize your craft. Everybody, I am going to get out of here. I'll see you tomorrow for Figure It Out Friday. Take care. Oh, wait. And remember, you are a podcaster and you are, a, that means you're a leader. And I want you to always think about leading with love. Take care, everybody.